This is the book of Exodus, chapter 21, verse 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. I'm going to continue. Because this is uh, very, that was very sick. This is what uh, those small hats do. This is, they showing you who they are. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 24, and verse 20. And it reads, And when he looked on Amalek, Amalek is Esau's grandchildren. Those are, are the, the 1948ers over there right now in uh, Israel. They call themselves the Israelis. He took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations. So they're the first of the nations. But his latter end shall be that he perish forever. That's pertaining to the book of Obadiah 1 and 18. I'm going to continue. Let's go to the book of Isaiah 33 and 1. And it reads, Woe to thee that spoil it, and thou was not spoiled. And dealt treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. So the other nations are going to deal treacherously with uh, Amalek, Esau, so-called white man. Let's continue. Let's get another one. Let's go to the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. The adversaries are in the book of Psalms. Okay, chapter, uh, I think that's 83. And read on down. The, the Lord's enemies. Okay. And all thy adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prayed upon thee will I give for a prey. Because they spoil many nations also. That's in the book of uh, Habakkuk chapter 2. And uh, I'll read it in verse eight, because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and of all that dwell therein. OK, so they've spoiled many nations by going and take their resources, bringing deceit. And giving them lies and feeding them their ideology. Let's get one more, then I'm gonna end it. This is the book of Revelations. Chapter, I think I wanna go to 13 and 9, and then I'll end it. Chapter 13, verse 9, and it reads If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that lead it into captivity, so you led the children of Israel into captivity on those slave ships, also the northern kingdom. Okay, from Ephraim on down to Issachar, Ephraim, uh, Gad, Sim, uh, Simeon, Zebulun, Issachar, Neptili, Asher. Okay, because the southern kingdom is uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and it's more. Okay, I'll keep reading. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Revelations 13 and 9. Revelations 13 and 10. He that lead it in the captivity shall go in the captivity. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. The saints are the Israelites. 
okay? The so-called blacks, the so-called Latinos, the so-called Native American Indians, and we're also scattered throughout the earth, all right? So I'm gonna end it there, and I'm gonna give all praise and honor to Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai, and I'm gonna give double honors and respect to our elders, apostles, uh, uh, and honorable brothers, 